Today we are going to discuss uh, some of the problems on frequency response of LTI systems. First problem, find the frequency response of a continuous time LTI system. represented by the impulse response h of t is equal to e power minus mod of t the frequency response of a continuous time LTI system is given by the Fourier transform of H of T. Therefore, H of J omega is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity h of t into e power minus a omega t into dt which is equal to integration minus infinity to 0 e power t into e power minus j omega t into dt plus integration 0 to infinity e power minus t into e power minus j omega t into dt which is equal to integration minus infinity to 0 e power 1 minus j omega into t into dt plus integration 0 to infinity e power minus 1 plus j omega into t into dt which is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus j omega plus 1 divided by 1 plus j omega. Therefore, h of j omega is equal to 2 divided by 1 plus omega square. Next problem, obtain the frequency response of a continuous time LTI system whose impulse response H of T as shown below. This is H of T given. H of T with amplitude 1. Here it is minus 1. So from the given figure, we can write h of t as minus delta of t plus 1 plus delta of t minus delta of t minus 1. Then frequency response is given by h of j omega 
is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity h of t into e power minus j omega t into dt which is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity minus delta of t plus 1 plus delta of t minus delta of t minus 1 into e power minus j omega t into dt so by using shifting property we can write it as e power minus e power j omega plus 1 minus e power minus j omega or h of j omega is equal to 1 minus 2 cos omega next problem obtain the frequency response of a discrete time LTI system with impulse response h of n is equal to 1 by 8 into 7 by 8 to the power n into e of n. Then the frequency response is given by. It is a discrete time system. H of e power j o is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity h of n into e power minus j o n, which is equal to one by eight. Summation n is equal to zero to infinity seven by eight. Into e power minus j o to the power n. Then the frequency response h of e power j o is equal to one by eight into one divided by one minus seven by eight into e power minus j o. Next problem. find the frequency response and the impulse response of the system having the output y of t for the input x of t as given x of t is equal to e power minus t into e of t and y of t is equal to e power minus 2t into e of t plus e power minus 3t into e of t taking Fourier transform of the given input and output signal, we get x of j omega is equal to one divided by one plus j omega, and y of j omega is equal to one divided by two plus j omega plus one divided by three plus j omega. Therefore. frequency response h of j omega is equal to y of j omega divided by x of j omega which is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus j omega divided by 2 plus j omega plus 
1 plus j omega divided by 3 plus j omega. Using partial fraction expansion, we get h of j omega is equal to 2 minus 1 divided by 2 plus j omega minus 2 divided by 3 plus j omega. Now, taking inverse Fourier transform. We get the impulse response as h of t is equal to 2 into delta of t minus e power minus 2t into u of t minus 2 into e power minus 3t into u of t. Therefore, h of t is equal to 2 into delta of t minus e power minus 2t into 1 plus 2 into e power minus t into u of t. Obtain the frequency response and the impulse response of the system having the output y of n for the input x of n given below x of n is equal to half to the power n into y of n y of n is equal to 1 by 4 into half to the power n into y of n plus 1 by 4 to the power n into y of n. It is given x of n is equal to half to the power n into y of n and y of n is equal to 1 by 4 into half to the power n into y of n plus 1 by 4 to the power n into y of n. Call it as equation number 1. Call it as equation number 2. Taking DTFT of equation number 1 we get x of e power j o is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus half into e power minus j o and taking dtft of equation number 2 we get y of e power j o is equal to 1 by 4 divided by 1 minus half into e power minus j o plus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 into e power minus j o. Therefore, the frequency response h of e power j o is equal to y of e power j o divided by x of e power j o. Which is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 minus half into e power minus j o divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 into e power minus j o. Then h of e power j o is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 into e power minus j o minus half into e power minus j o divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 into e power 
minus j4 then taking inverse dtft we get impulse response h of n is equal to 1 by 4 into delta of n plus 1 by 4 to the power n into e of n minus half into 1 by 4 to the power n minus 1 into e of n minus 1.